Hello everyone, and welcome back to Geek's Guide to Star Drive 2. And if you remember last episode, what we did was we demolished everything. So, you know, that's a thing that happened. And now, um, we still have that to deal with. We'll deal with him later once we... Though we may want to deal with him sooner rather than later, I'm now thinking. Um, right, you're getting your... Rover Bay up. Yeah, we're gonna want to deal with that guy sooner than later because he may cause a bit of a problem with my. Mm hmm. Yeah. Get building faster, you hooligans. So. Yep, that uh, shaves a lot off of it. So I'm thinking what I want. Eh. After that's up, I want you to get me one of each of these ships, and we'll try them out in the field against that pirate ship. Or oh, hold on, I want to edit my roster again. Instead of you storving broadside, I want point defense. Point defense. And we'll get a point defense ship up and make that the first. Look at how I derped up on capitalization and stuff but either way it will be a matter of time we'll get a fleet up and then we will wreck that guy in the face right in the face square in his gab and then we'll do that and then colonies yeah meh colony ships that's what we need okay so time to click Ooh. Racial profiling. Okay, let's... Volfar. Okay, yeah, we remember these guys from last time around. Um. Right. Aeroponic farm. That is a good thing. Do we have anything we can use to... Oh, a research lab. Um. I'm thinking we may want to get just go ahead and get a research lab so that way we can get up better research and there we go we have holy cow that takes a long time to produce don't worry we'll put this in actually we could put that in before that and after this so that way we can do better work yeah, it'll take us longer to research things here, but... And it, oh, and it only just changes it by one turn. It's not really worth it now, is it? Oh, well, point defense. Oh, good, we got our automated rover bay up over here. Right, you also need an aeroponic farm. That is your next priority. Yeah, you're not doing too shabby. Oh man, you you producing good here. You producing good. How's the production here? Eleven. Okay. Not too shabby. I got our point defense ship up and running. So once we have an aeroponic farm, we can actually um, allocate more of these dudes to production. That's, that's my strategy behind this. Oh, and now we have research lab technologies. Which, I'll, mm, I'll, I'll think about this one. I'm considering either plasma fuel cells or defensive flares, because plasma cannons just stink. They're, they, they are the worst, okay? They aren't very effective, their range is cruddy, and they don't even do that much damage. So they are overall a not good investment so i think i'm just and the particle collider it's not good because look at how expensive it is i'm just gonna go with ion beams get me aeroponic farm all right then wonderful that's only two turns and i want to keep my economy in check um, let's see how we're doing over me. Yeah. How you guys doing? 
You're not making me any money. You're not making me any money. Um, research lab. Research lab is a good thing, and we will get you building a research lab. Hmm. Uh, research lab. Actually, first. Yeah. So that way we can allocate even more of our guys to production. Because that is what smart people, a smart person like me, would do. And these dudes again. Rayla, Theocracy, yep. And it turns out that the Elder God that they, um, the Rayleth, or however you want to pronounce those buffoons, um, worship, is actually like Cthulhu. You know. Boop. 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 Is that worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Raising taxes to 1%. Oh well, it'll hit our production a bit. But it doesn't hit our farming for some reason. Farming leader. Wellness? Hmm. 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 I'm, I'm thinking about this. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Don't think so. We can't afford it. Sorry. So when you're starting off, you gotta watch your economy. What? Oh, good. We have killed all the hostile creatures on this planet because I have infantry here. Have you ever seen four infantry dudes just completely kill, clear an entire planet of hostile life? That is pretty impressive. Kudos to the Marines in my group. Um, plasma fuel cells so we can, our Terran explorers can go farther. Yeah. And research lab. Yep. You will produce better. Aha. Produce. And then you're losing two, and then we're losing two. It's still no bueno. Um. Anyway. We gotta figure something out. You. Your population needs to grow. Will you grow, please? Actually, we could allocate you to that. But then that wouldn't do much in the way of that. So we might as well just keep it how it is. Oh, we are actually making money. That is good. And then fuel cells. And then mass drivers are going to be coming down the pipe pretty soon. Uh, plasteel armor we'll go for first. Then mass drivers, and then fusion power. Because that is... <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. Cough, cough. There we go. We got our first Sherman. I want to look at you. Yep, this is our artillery ship. Remember when we built this? We just stuck a couple missiles on it. Remember that? I remember that. Go. Build me another. My Stuart class. And we have a research lab, and we are breaking even again. We need to expand. I think we can actually hold off on the starbase for the time being. A colony ship, that would take some time, but it would take less time than that. So, colony ship. Do we have any suitable worlds? Lothar? No, not suitable. Ramada? Also not suitable. We need to do some exploration. Tell you what, we could actually send these guys to do it. Go explore this. Go. And plasteel armor. Oh, what is you right over here? It's probably... Hmm. Um. Mass drivers. Let's check you out over here. What are you? Oh, an infested derelict. Hmm. Okay, cool. You head back to Earth and pick up the rest of the fleet. And by the rest of the fleet, I mean that one other ship. Yeah, and it's run out of fuel now. I hate it when that happens. 
But I put no fuel. I could make, could make like a fuel boat type ship. Right. Mmm. Okay, if we can. In. Okay, okay. To that end, a cad if we expand our territory. Of three different solar systems. Ooh. Dude, it is time to expand or die. There is nothing good there, so. We have 25 turns to use. Ah, uh, mass drivers, baby. Once we get fusion power and then research class 1 shields, I think it is time for us to upgrade our other ship variations. So 3 patent. Wonderful. Let's go take this fool down. Why, why didn't you just use the wormhole? Come on, pathfinding. Pathfinding. What are you doing with your life? Pathfinding. And there are, like, no good star systems. Alright, we're gonna fight this. We're gonna figure this out. Figure this out. I think we can win this. Okay, so you, you are Sherman. You have big guns. And you are Stuart. You are Patton. Okay, um, Stuart and Patton, you guys move up to protect this guy. And then with point defense dude in the middle. Holy cow, I should have made these guys faster. And now we are launching our missiles at them. But our point defense guy, haha. -ha. And look at all the, the barrage of missiles. Quick point defense. Oh, look at those Gatling guns. Dude, we are, we are pulling this off. Our Gatling guns are doing, doing the work. Everyone, attack that fool. Attack him in the face. Not with your Gatling guns, with your actual guns that can do stuff. Yes, lasers. Use those on him. And he's dead. This is a great day for the human people. We won. But man, I tell you this, artillery, the starting artillery weapon type thing that you get, it stinks. It is the worst. It can go die in a fire. There, I said it. Hey, we are the champions. We won. And there's nothing even worth colonizing in that area. We are gonna head over here. Oh, good, colony. Um... Where's a good place to colonize? There's nothing good. Why is there nothing good in my cluster? I've taken all the good things in the cluster. Did I find anything good up here? Found a tundra. And it's maximum population is kind of cruddy, but whatever. Hopefully we'll find something good here. What did you find? Oh, you are killing me, game. Why can't you give me something good? I think we're just gonna have to expand into this new territory. Yeah, because I want that 500 extra moolah monies. Because, you know, expand or die and all that. Come on, so we get, get expanded. Get expanded. You know. Oh, population grew here. Uh, we don't need so many farmers. Back to research. And we are now breaking even again. Nonetheless, we can get class 1 shields, then get subspace projectors. Then I will be satisfied. Alright, wonderful. Get yourself these things, and that thing, and that thing, and that thing, and then this other thing. I'm so specific with my words. Um, tell you what, instead of having a dude here, we move him here. Aha. And now we're losing money. I am good with economics. Okay, so here is how we economics. We take money away from research, again, and we throw it at farming. Oh boy. We found dudes. Um, we will fight them. We will fight them. Fortunately, these guys have pretty low health. Oh boy, the, these are big. Big. 
Okay. We will form defensive perimeter. Defensive perimeter. Eh. I'm pretty sure that's gonna hit, because if that doesn't hit, I'm gonna be mad. And now they're firing weirdness at us, and we are firing missiles back at them. Point defense, go! You failed. Oh, great, we have like phasers or something. Okay, yeah, you, you are good. Go attack the big ship. And you get him with your missiles. Everyone, attack the last big ship. Go get him. Oh, we can get this guy. Huge Prussia. Huh. And our missiles block his fire. We are so good at this. Oh, we got this. We got this in the bag. We created a pretty decent fighting force with our low level ships. Pretty decent fighting force. Now, if only we could kill that one last dude. Fortunately, we have all this point defense. With lasers. Lasers. These Gatling guns are pretty good at point defense. Especially with missiles, but they kind of stink with fighters. Anything bigger than a missile, Gatlin guns stink at deflecting. Which is why I think I like them. Alright, so we're gonna... Dude, what are you? You know, I, I don't care. I want this world. Okay, oh, yeah, but it's probably gonna get small. Population count gonna get small if we... Uh, it's gonna have back into our space darn it we're gonna run out of fuel yep figured that would happen what are you oh boy that is a lot of you that is a lot of you oh yes colony ship okay once these guys get through okay I'm gonna send the colony ship to this system and hope it isn't. Now I'm gonna send it up here to hang with those, chill with those dudes. Alright, you guys have arrived at Earth. Okay, you've almost arrived at Earth. Now you are refueled. And I'm gonna send you up over here explore that area we're gonna ex uh, say hello to those dudes but for okay no not yet we are going to um, gonna get some mark two varieties of some ships out oh wormhole that's that's not too shabby I'll take a desert honestly a desert isn't too bad it's worse than having because it can actually produce some food so it isn't too bad. Um, I don't think we're ready to take those guys on. I don't think we have good enough tech level. In the meantime, we will just send them down here, check out these, um... Confirm. Um, automated rover, aeropark farm, research, infantry, that. All use. Go. Oh, yeah. Some of these dudes. Oh, those are quite a few pirates. Um, okay. What what was in this system? And eh, nothing good, but these crystalline belts, do they have anything, any benefits to them? Trilithium. Mm, that's okay. Ah, class one shields. Okay, I want to check down you. Um, and down the way here is cruise missiles, and I want cruise missiles, because cruise missiles are cool. Let's get... Mm, mm, let's, let's get neurotoxin. Because science rhymes with compliance. You know it doesn't rhyme with compliance? Neurotoxin. Ah, I love that reference. 
especially when it applies to this game. Uh, nothing good to do here. You. Tundra, you getting colonized. Aden system? Well, that's not, not too shabby. So we're just gonna pull you back down here. Yes, you took the smart route. I love you for taking the smart route. Good, good plan. And then you will colonize this place. Expand or die, my friends. Expand or die. Expand or die. Oh, what are you? Um, labor leader. Research leader. Mm. Okay, let's let's take this dude. We will put him on Earth. He will be our overseer on our home world. You, you will be the leader. Wonderful. You will work harder. Alright, it is time to shipyard. Alright? So let's get our basic Sherman. That is our, um... Oh, darn, I could have done something smart. Here, here is a smart little thing I figured out. You see? You see what I can do? I can do this! It's all plasteel armor now. Pla... Plasteel? Plasteel? I don't care how you pronounce it. Eh, 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 eh. I don't want rockets on this. Um... Because instead, here, I'm going to put in shields. And then, for power, I'm going to use fusion power. Okay. And then we will put in mass drivers. Look at it. It's so good. What do we need ammo for? What does this? Ah, uh, needs capacitors, doesn't it? Um, what? You need energy? You need energy. I didn't realize that. Okay. Infinite. Wonderful. We just need one of these. That is kind of hilarious. But we do need more fusion power. Mm. Mm. And then ordnance. Oh, but with the missiles gone, it now means we can pack even more ordnance storage onto this thing. That is good. And then I want to put another little piece of armor there, you know, just in case to get through it. Because ordnance equals boom, and that boom is no good. No good at all. How much ammo we got? Yeah. Ammo. This is the Mark II. Yeah. Stuart? Stuart class, what you got? And eh, nothing different in the way of the of all this, aside from the fact that we now have shields and um plasteel armor. You, plasteel. Get on this ship. Get on it. Get on it. And then, all you. And we're gonna need some more power. So, I think what's gonna happen... How many more of these do we need? Yeah. Oh, no, we can just put them back here. Duh. Dur -dur 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 -dur. I didn't see those back there, and then just put the same laser array, and then all the little point, point, point defenses there. And this be Mark II, except we don't have enough power still. Why can't anything just work right? You know? Yeah, we don't have enough ammo, so we're gonna have to rework this. And remember to extend the arc on this thing. Right? 
fixed in the arc. So you're like that, you are also like that. And we have a decent amount of time until empty, and you are the Mark II. And then we'll go to you. And then nothing with you changes much, except for shields. And eventually I'm gonna put cruise missiles on this thing. Oh yeah, baby, cruise missiles. Mm. Fusion power. And even still, we're going to need to put... No, we can actually just throw some in the back. There you go. Wonderful. So there you go. Patton, Mark II. All of them are ready. Alright. And now I want to send my fleet. You fleet. I want you to be refitted into a... Oh, you are a steward. So you will be a steward Mark II. You will become a Sherman Mark II. And you will become a Patton Mark II. And then we need to redevelop our point defense ship. Alright, basically all it involves is replacing that with that and that and stuff. And then I think I'm f I will actually want to put a shield on this. Boop. up in the front, cockpit, and then more ordnance. I see you with... Okay. How about we do you? Okay. Does that sound good? Great, I broke it. Just go back to the regular design and then... Then we does that. And then get rid of all you. Um, yeah, shields. Shields are good. Um, and then we want a command center because we don't want these things to take up too many command points because that would be pretty no bueno all the way around. Ha! Huh. And then I just want to throw some more ordnance on this thing. And then we're good. A nice even 100 for production points, and we'll slap on it another one. So yeah, per plenty of time to get empty. All right, there you go. And then we can actually refit this ship. Refit. All right, there we go. I was gonna take you a while to refit these ships, isn't it? Um. This rate, that is gonna take a hot minute. Hmm. No, it won't. No, it won't. Patent, however, only needs like 14 to refit it. So, how many changes you make in the design has actually a lot to do with how long it takes. So, you know. Oh, yes. Eh? Wait. Oh, neurotoxin. That's, that's cool. Cool beans. Yo. Let's get an Imperial Bank. Since, since when? Oh, of course you have Lemba Seeds. Population problem on you. Yeah, it does. Ha 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 and a ho 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 and a couple of tra la la's. It's how we like to spend the day in the merry old land of Oz. And as we expand or die, my friends. Okay, so let's move some dudes from Kelds or whatever it's called. 
Oh, I don't have enough transports. Darn. No, don't get, don't be production. Be farm. Farmville. Okay, so, uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Geek's Guide to Star Drive 2, and thank you, and good night, I guess.